I'm Chris Hurstman. Uh, I work at the Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Lab, and I'm the New Horizons Mission Systems Engineer. New Horizons is NASA's mission uh, to the Pluto system and also on to the Kuiper Belt. But I can't remember a time when I didn't think I would be an engineer because uh, both my parents were engineers and they also went to the University of Cincinnati and graduated uh, in chemical engineering. My grandfather was an electrical engineer who graduated from the University of Cincinnati and my brothers all went to the University of Cincinnati. The question was which type of engineering because I liked mechanical things as well as electrical things and I think it was the time when computers were becoming uh, of age and, and, and they really caught my eye. The co-op program was something that really attracted me to the University of Cincinnati. I knew that would be a, a great experience and it also helped pay for college and it really helped me a lot. When I went to interview for jobs, I had an advantage over most of the students applying because of my experience. I started the Applied Physics Laboratory in a group that does a lot of work for other departments in the laboratory and then and then moved into the space department and in the space department I started building uh, electronics for testing flight equipment and then I um, I had an opportunity to to have a jump a little bit of a jump in my career at a different organization and I went to work for Orbital Sciences Corporation for a few years and I worked on a lot of proposals. I got a call from my previous employer, the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Lab, and they said, um, had you ever thought about coming back? Since I'd been working on proposals for three years, I said, oh, I'll, I'll come back as long as I don't have to work on proposals, because I was about done with proposals. And he said, oh, oh, sure, sure, yeah, come on back, you know? And then the first thing I get is the New Horizons proposal. <laughs> and I was like, oh. I was like, well, I've done this before. I know how to do it. I'm, gonna, I'm coming back, I want to make a good impression, I'll do the best job I can. Um, I honestly didn't expect to win, you know, I had lost proposal after proposal, and, and, uh, but I was like, I'm going to do the best job I can on this. And sure enough, we won. And I was like, wow, you know, that's amazing. So, so I think about it and I say, you know, sometimes it's good when you don't get what you want because you end up with what you need. And it might even be better than what you wanted. When we got to Pluto, I didn't expect such um, celebration, you know, it was, it was something where I thought, you know, this is going to be really good, but it wasn't, it was much more than I expected. But, you know, I tell people that the enjoyment happens every day when I come into work. I want to say that I'm really thankful for the opportunity to work on this project. And it's, it's, uh, it's the NASA administration and the, and the tax dollars that fund these projects. And it's the, you know, the population in the United States that's uh, supporting this effort and so I want to say thank you uh, to everyone for this opportunity.